so start that tranny swap first i'm gonna do i jacked it up i put it on the little things jack stands jack supporting all the support i can get um, it's all on all fours sorry about the background music my neighbors are playing it loud um first thing i'm gonna do is remove the exhaust because it looks like it's gonna be in the way so the exhaust is gonna come off and then we're gonna take out the dry shaft and then start unbolting the tranny Exhaust leaks everywhere. Right, so we got the dry shaft off, took half of it. Uh, Chinese drain, most harness is coming off, and the torque converter bolts are off. Now we're gonna loosen up the lines and start unbolting the tranny. Let's record with the Note 8. The exhaust is off. Look at the gasket, it's all messed up. Um, most of the training bolts are loose. Just can't loosen up the top one. But I just got stung by a fucking bee right now. Ugh. I felt something on my shirt, so I wiped it. Wiped my face with my shirt, and then fucking stung me in my face. You see right there. Fucking bump. Before I got stung by a wasp too. The wasp hurts more though. Than the freaking bee. Alright, so sorry I didn't film that much. But we got the training off. Um, it's kind of a bitch to pull it out, so I had to pull out the, the dipped stick. Because the car, I don't have it that high. And now I'm just gonna bring the other tranny and slip it back on. The rim still looks like it's been replaced, looks good, so. But I'll inspect it more. Come back from eating. Alright, so I just checked all the sensors and they're all the same. I'm just gonna run the ones on this car, on this tranny. Everything's good, just getting ready to throw it in. Gotta put tranny fluid in here, the torque converter, and we're gonna put it in. Alright, fill up the torque converter, I'm gonna jack up the car some more, slide the tranny under.
so it's been about a week because I've been busy with work. Shang's um, almost in. Just gotta tighten up everything. Hopefully it goes in pretty good, but we'll see. And the tranny finally snapped in. It took me so long just to get like everything even and to go fully in. And then now I can crank the the crank pulley up front so the flywheel will spin. Before it wasn't spinning because it was like so jammed. So now everything is like lined up. I just gotta tighten up all the bolts. Put the tranny mount back on. Plug everything back up. Hopefully I can finish it by tonight. But I need to find um, the exhaust gaskets and I gotta go buy training fluid. Can't seem to find Valvoline ATF anywhere. Cheapest and it works the best, kind of. So, yeah. Alright, so basically got everything done. But guess what? Ignore the flapping noise because that's the exhaust gasket um, flapping in the exhaust. It's overfilled, but I don't think that's gonna help. To try to drain some fluid out, and then probably check some sensors. Look up which sensors are which. Maybe I could replace some from my old tranny. But shit, let's see. So got it jacked up. Jack stands are on. It's gonna drain about like a quart. Or so. brand new pan too so okay, so I have one last resort I noticed the other one the pan was smashed and I took it off the filter was clogged and smashed too so that could be causing the trying to be clogged and not running because it needs to it needs all the fluids so pulling my old one off I bought a new filter from AutoZone and we're gonna try it out. Cause look at the old, the old um, pan. See, he's all lump right here in the middle. It's smashed. You see the old filter? You see the dent right there? So, pulling this one off. So my, yeah, my old transmission pretty much burnt out. You can see all the metal shavings inside the pan. Look at that. Right there. The other one is, it has metal shavings, but see, it's not as bad as the other one. So I have hope, 
but well, my hopes be shut down today, we will see. <clears throat> Look at the back of the new one. Look at the old one. Damn, smashed in. So it could be clogging up the fluid, so I hope that's a problem. If not, I'm pulling up the training for sure. Yep, uh, gotta take it back out because fluid's even, it's good. I just, when you put it in drive or reverse, or step on the gas, it doesn't even move at all. It doesn't even roll, just a slight bit. So, yeah, I guess I'm doing another tranny job. Uh, I'm just scared that I might get another fucked up tranny and I don't have money to buy a good rebuild one, so... Um, yeah, that's the thing about buying it from a junkyard. You don't know what you're gonna get and you're just doing double labor if it's fucked up. Like me. See this brand new fluid? See what sensor this is. I want to try switching it, but I don't think it'll make a difference. It just sounds more like a torque converter issue. Like usually torque converter will just um if it's running good you'll feel it like kind of like pump into the tranny like a little juke. But this one you'll you hear the idle change but it wouldn't like even move or like shake. I should have just bought a new torque converter but then again it could be the tranny you know so we don't know um, it sucks, man. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the new tranny. I'd rather go six speed, but that's really expensive. So, I mean, I don't want to get rid of this car because they're, they're riding good. You know, the engine, everything's good. I got the valve cover gasket and the knock sensor for it. That's like one of the main things that are wrong with it. And I was ready to have the tranny fixed and everything fixed. No more oil leaks. And still stuck on this tranny issue. So, after that, new bumper paint it and just drive it get some new wheels turn it to a show car but for now stuck with life problems <laughs> bug it <laughs>